it's space side, it's single cask, it's sherried, it can only be Glendronic. Stick around after this. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Whiskey Reviews. My name is Vim PF, and this week we're going to be checking out the Glendronic Single Cask Batch 14, and this is the 1996. But before we get into that, I'm just going to start a new segment, and that's going to be Comment of the Week. And that'll be on the previous video, which was the Glen Farkless 105. And uh, uh, this week, the comment actually came from the person who kindly gave me this dram. That's Maltman, Mike and Friends. And his comment was, Unfortunately, this is one of the few Glen Farkless offerings that does contain E150A. Now, unfortunately, I did say last week that I didn't think it had added colour. I actually didn't think it had added colour, which is a shame. But you know my feelings on added colour. It's one of those things. These things happen. If it fits in with the rest of the range, who am I to worry about? Cheers, my man Mike, for that, and cheers, my man Mike, for this. If you uh, want to get onto the comment of the week, just send a comment below, and uh, I'll pick a good one for every week. So here we are, Glendronach, Speyside, and this is part of the single cask series. Every year or so, I think maybe sometimes they do every two years, they'll release the single cask series. This is batch 14 and they cover everything from a 12 year old to a 30 year old, like 1985, I think last year was. This one is the 1996, so 20 years old and it's aged in a Pedro Jimenez X Sherry cask. There you go. So, oh, and for further information, I think it's cask 1485 as well easy to find this information online um, and percentage wise I think it's 53% pretty sure it's 53% there you go so single cask I like a single cask especially when it isn't chill filtered you're getting everything that the cask is given it this um, hasn't been watered down has nothing been done to it bottled get it out there as you can see that's a, a seriously deep color it's almost like coke a cola Let's have a sniff and see what we got. Well, oh, it's like putting your nose into a bag of brown sugar straight away. Super sweet. All that stuff you love with sherry casks, you know, your dark fruits, your raisins. Mmm, let's do it, give it a try. Oh, it's so sweet, but not in a kind of sickly way. If you don't like your sweet kind of whiskies, then it might be a bit sweet for you. Personally, it's right up my street. Love those dark sugars, love that um, Pedro Jimenez cherry casks. And this fits the bill perfectly for that. Mm. I have to say, for me personally, on my palate, it isn't like perfect because there's this kind of dusting of cinnamon. Um, not much, not much, not overpowering, but it's just in there. I, I mean, I'm really, really not a fan of cinnamon. I abstain from it whenever I can, but it's it's in there. And it kind of, it maybe detracts a point from it in my opinion, but if, you, if you're not phased by that, then I reckon you'll like this. Mm. Unfortunately, it's already sold out. So I'm quite lucky for Malt and Mike to send me a jam of this. Make sure you check out his channel, by the way. Links and links and stuff in the description. So I think it was about 130 quid when it was first released, that sort of thing. The, the prices vary depending on the ages. I think the most expensive 30-year-old was only like 250 quid, which isn't bad, really. All the way down to kind of 80s, that kind of thing. So you, there's, a, there's a, a range for you for every year. The trouble with these things are, because they sell out so quickly, it's very, very difficult, unless you go to the distillery, to try before you buy, you know? So, unless you've got a friend who's willing to kind of go in with it with you, maybe you could even split the bottle between three of you. Like, I think Whiskey Wednesday reviewed this only a few months ago, maybe at Christmas time. A good fitting time, actually, a good Christmas dram. And I think he split it a few ways. Good way of doing it. Yeah, shame really, because I think it would be a good dram to have, and I think it'd be quite expensive on the secondary market now. Um, I haven't checked the auction sites to find out because you guys could be watching this at any time. So I could say whatever price, and it could be 
through the roof later. Mm. Oh, you guys know I love a sherry drum. And that's right up my street, that is. It's not as strong as the um, Glen Farkless 105, and you can really tell that kind of 7% difference really does make all the difference. You know, it's not, there's no heat to this. Very easy to drink, extremely flavorful. I wouldn't recommend it for new guys to the to whiskey world. It might be a bit overwhelming. There's a lot to take in, a lot to figure out, even on my kind of, kind of basic, basic, you know, amateurish palate. I've got a wealth of things to, to figure out when I drink this. Hmm. Well, he sent me a double, so I've got a, uh, another measure here left for editing. I don't like to um, edit dry, so great. As I said before, do check out Mark Man Mike. He does some excellent video reviews, video logs. He does them um, every week, same as me. And uh, yeah, check him out. It's uh, Mark and Mike and Friends, so there's always different stuff going on and he's about to relaunch his channel uh, in a new way. Um, he hasn't even told me what's going on with that, so go over there, subscribe and see what he's doing. Good stuff. Well, thanks for watching. This uh, was the Glendronic Single Cask Batch 14 1996. Probably won't get hold of many of the other ones anytime soon, but you know, who knows? This, uh, this endeavour of mine is taking me to many places. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you again on another No Nonsense Whiskey Review.